Working by yourself is one thing, but bringing other people into the mix? That's something else entirely. Let's take a look at how we can use Nextcloud to play well with others. As the old saying goes, good fences make good neighbors. In Nextcloud's case, the administrators are responsible for setting up and maintaining these fences. And what fences are those? Well, we can approach this from both a resource and a privacy constraint standpoint. We have to consider the potential from not just abuse, but of simple misconfiguration or accidental mishaps, which happen all too often. Administrators of the system have to be aware that as privileged users, it's up to them to be a barrier to this happening, in addition to also troubleshooting issues that these same fences can cause. In other words, with great power comes great responsibility. Here are some tricks to wielding it. The first thing we're going to do is impersonate some group administrators. So I'm going to make user one a group administrator for group one. Next, we're going to install the impersonate app on Nextcloud. And that will let us impersonate users from the users menu. The first user I'm going to impersonate, user1, keep in mind I have already logged in as that user, so this impersonate application will work. It will only work once you log in as the user the first time. As this user, I can take administrative actions on anyone within this group. As user1, I can see that the people in group1 are user1 and user3. Uh, now, me as user one can set a quota uh, for user three's storage. So I'm going to set that at five gigabytes. Additionally, I can create a new user. Let's call him user five and put him in the group one and perform administrative functions related to that user as well. Additionally, I can change the password if necessary or change the display name of that user. If necessary, I can also go in and disable that user. And that user will now show up in the disabled users list. Uh, that user will not be able to log in. Um, however, all of their files will be retained and can be restored at any point. All of these permissions are similar to a global administrator. However, I don't have the ability as a group administrator to install applications. So I'm going to log out after becoming user one to go back to my regular default user who is a global administrator and go install the application guests. Now with guests, there is one additional bit of functionality here that we have with users, which is we can create a new guest user. In order to add a guest account who would have access to my documents directory, I first type in the email of the person I wanted to share with and select the option to invite a guest. I can then add that guest to various groups and give them a display name. And then once that email has been received, the recipient can log in and view the shares as a guest. You will now see that user as an account in the list of users in your Nextcloud instance. As a bonus, if any users have a rogue device or a device that's been retired, you also do have the ability to wipe all the devices, which in the case of a lost device or exiting the organization, this can remotely wipe the next cloud data from all devices associated with that user, and which only works if the devices are connected to the instance. As you can see, there's just a plethora of tools that Nextcloud has at your disposal to make working both with and within groups easier. If you found that Nextcloud user management has made it easier to work with people, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Nextcloud, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own rcompose instance today at rcompose.com.